Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 72 of Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, off footage, I managed to get the very last recipes that I needed to get. Such as the Jelly Ultra, which is obviously Ultra Shroom and Jam and Jelly. I think there was something else. Oh yeah, the uh, Chocolate Cake, which just replenishes 5 HP and 15 FP, with a cake mix and inky sauce. I also made a poison shroom, eat it and it'll poison you, but at a very rare instance, it can replenish all your HP. This is made but with a slow shroom and inky sauce. And the trial stew is amazing food that yields incredible results. You gotta mix a poison shroom with a couple's cake. You know what those incredible results are? They give you all of your SP, which is great, at the cost of leaving you down to 1 HP and 0 FP. Is it great? Well, you can't even sell it for more than one coin anywhere. So yeah, great my ass! And I did pick up Super Luigi 4, which I believe is the final book. I think it is, I could be wrong. Maybe post-game they'll add like another one. Chapter 4, The Shards of Truth. Footsore and weary, Luigi finally found the rapturous ruins beyond Grimble Forest. Within them, time and space were lost in nothingness. Within the pale emptiness, Luigi found a young sleeping boy. Our hero called out gently, and the youth woke from his long, long slumber. My name is Cranberry, and I've waited for you for the last thousand years. The boy went on to tell Luigi the secret truths of an ancient land. He said that the marvelous compass had been created by the ancient love people, who used its powers of foretelling to rule the world. But can the marvelous compass see why kids love the taste of Cinnamon Toast Crunch? It's not that powerful. But the Love Vampire was then cursed by the compass and fell into ruin. The survivors dismantled the compass and hid its pieces. Cranberry was the last of the ancient race. His role was to wait until one with a noble heart came to take the burden of the future. None but Luigi could have shouldered this weight. The boy gave him the compass piece and said, Fear the curse, but find your eclair. Luigi accepted the part. The boy's words burned into his brain. His duty fulfilled, the boy began to fade into the blank nothingness. As he faded from sight, a look of joy lit Cranberry's face. As Luigi gaped, both boy and ruins vanished, leaving our hero in a dark wood. With six of the parts united, the compass now pointed to the final part, to the quest's end, to Hate Song Tower, and then her voice spoke. Princess Eclair's voice begged for help from the void, pleading for a hero. Luigi's heart burst aflame. And then he got resurrected after dying. The end. Well, technically it's not the end. There's obviously more, since there's a to be continued. Ancient prophecy discovered. When the moon shines bright, the end will draw near. Well, it did shine bright. And there was an explosion. What's going on tonight? Is the man on the moon freaking out or what? The starstruck astronomer. <laughs> you know, it's not a starstruck astronomer. It's the starstruck astronomer. You know, it's a big deal, man. To be this starstruck. Bluey? Man, you're even darker than before. Let's see, adventures. Oh, of course. Me, I'm done questing for now. Yep, I scaled Hate Song Tower the other day and rescued the fair Princess Eclair. That's one adventure I'm never gonna forget. Nope, it was just too exciting. It was just bonkers, bro. Wanna hear what happened? Uh, okay. Uh, Toadsworth seems to have more enjoyment looking at the leak. <laughs> Here we go. This looks like the final chapter. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, and this part is just crazy. But here goes. Hate Song Tower stands atop a jagged, unclimbable cliff beyond the northernmost sea. The winds whistle down the cliff, howling like banshees, singing songs of hate. People say it's pretty much the scariest place in the world, and I had to go there. Blocking out the bone-chilly howls, I somehow managed to reach the tower's door. I was terrified, but thoughts of Princess Eclair warmed my heart and gave me power. All of my companions felt the same way. They were with me to the bitter end. The door to the tower swung slowly open to reveal an inconceivable darkness. I tried to call out Princess Eclair's name, but I couldn't even breathe because... As I strained my eyes in the darkness, I saw the most terrifying beast of all! The chestnut king himself appeared before me. He was monstrous and drooling! Piles of toxic goo dripped from his mouth, melting the very ground at our feet. I couldn't stop shaking, but I gritted my teeth and faced the evil beast dead on. I dodged the king's fangs, jumped onto his chest, and gave him a hammer whack. My swing split the air and crashed dead center onto the chestnut king's skull. Hope hard me up, bro. I was going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the king, and I was loving it! This is it, I thought. I can win this. I'll risk it all on my next blow. I grabbed my hammer tight and waited for my moment. The tension stung me. Schwack! The ocean winds rage against the tower windows. But 
that sound is my call to battle. I dance with no mercy in my heart. And then... And then... I beat him! I defeated the Chestnut King! An even worse beast came next! A nightmare thing! But I beat it too! I rescued Princess Eclair! It was all over! Now I came back to Rogue Gordon at a light lunch! And that's about it! Huh? You think there's more to the story than that? Not at all! That's it! That's the whole story of the quest for Princess, Princess Eclair! The end! But my adventures won't end here, bro! They'll never end! I couldn't care less! Hey! You! Remember me? It's me, Bluey! Man, that last battle was hairy. You have no idea. I was burnt to a crisp, but I was actually kind of relieved, if you can believe that. But if you want the whole story, you should just ask Luigi here. <laughs> or, I could at least wait for Volume 5. Wait, are there any new badges for sale? Because I haven't seen one in ages. Anything that was worthwhile. Okay, let's take a look. Yeah, that's all crap. I'm saving my money. Okay, what's more, one more thing I can do? Oh yeah, I can go to the Minstrel. I'll definitely do that. And I got two more Troubles left to do as well. I got plenty of money. I think the Minstrel deserves some of it. Get through the door, Mario. Thank you. Come on, man. It's been, what, 72 parts and you can't even get through the door on the first try? Oh! Oh yeah, we're making rookie mistakes now. Pretty soon I'm gonna get killed by a Goomba. While at full health. It's gonna happen, man. And then I'll probably be sitting there in my bath in my bathtub wearing nothing but my underwear holding a shotgun saying, Don't come near me, fans! I'm sorry for screwing up! Okay, do you have any more dungeon stories? Oh, just one! Okay. The heroes knew that the seal might not last forever, and they sought to make the crystal stars available to one who might need them. So, before going to their individual dooms, they made a map to all the stars. And to prevent an evil force from misusing this map, they placed it in a box that, only, that could only be opened by the pure of heart. Which, of course, is Princess Peach, which happened in the very beginning of the game. And why the hell did I even go east? I should have just gone to the Trouble Center. Duh! That's where I was going to go right after reading the story. So I only got two more Troubles left to do. I don't think they're the very last Troubles in the game. I believe there's some you got to do post-game as well. Let me do this one next. I want to meet Luigi! I must be my darling Luigi. Come to the Fountain in Pache Heights for details. And why couldn't she just go to Roll Court Inn because Luigi just happened to be there? Well, I guess I'm going to meet you at Pache Heights. Give me a moment. You know, why couldn't this game be more like Skyrim when you can take like multiple quests at one time? Hello. So you accepted my request for troll help. I thought maybe it'd be Luigi. Oh well. So, could you bring him here maybe? I'm a huge, huge fan of his. I just have to meet him, and... I want to give him a cake. I have to give him a cake! Okay, bring Luigi here. Got it? Somebody's a little demanding. Alright, so... I can't really bring him out here, but maybe I can trick her. Yeek! I can tell! I can totally tell! I've never met him before. But I can absolutely tell! You're the real Luigi! Ah! I knew it! This is so cool! Oh my gosh! What should I say? Ah! I'm totally freaking him out! I'm freaking out Luigi! Oh no! What should I do? Oh, right! Duh! 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 The cake! The one I baked was a total loss! But Zesty did a great job on this one! Here you go, Mr. Luigi! Please take this! Choco cake! Nice! Uh-oh. Hey, bro! Say, why are you dressed like me? Hey! Who, who do you think you are, you filthy imposter? Police! What? I'm no imposter. I'm Luigi. Say, hey, say something, Mario. Heek! Ew, ew, ew! He's so much like Luigi, it's creepy! Oh, <laughs> lol. 
He's trying to masquerade Luigi to interrupt our special time together! Th th that's crazy! This is a nightmare! A bad dream! I won't believe it! Wake up! Ah! No way! I know I wasn't supposed to see that! No way! Don't... don't worry about it! Oh, thanks! Really, Luigi! You're so sweet! And thanks for coming today! I will always treasure these moments! Always! So please, come see me again, okay? Wait, doesn't this remind me of the Charlie Chaplin that he actually lost his own look-alike contest? When people are supposed to look like Charlie Chaplin and somebody looks so much like him that he... that the real one lost? Kinda reminds me of that. Maybe it's, I'm thinking of the wrong celebrity, but seriously... Okay, I'm gonna meet you back at the Trouble Center to do that one last trouble. Alright, we finally made it, so we can finally get all these side quests out of the way before going to the Pit of 100 Trials. Oh, Gold Bob, so how does he I gotta go to Pashi Heights? I need you to take something to General White. Please come get it with all speed. Meet me in Pashi Heights. Okay, so going to Pashi Heights is a little bit of an inconvenience, because I just came back from there. And apparently the recipient of that... Oh my god, I I just felt my stomach sink to my anus right there. It's gonna be that bad, I can just tell. Oh, meet you at Pashi Heights. Oh, there he is. Thank god he's not that far. So, Gonzalez, how did you enjoy your cannon ride, hmm? I like to go to the moon and look for some investment opportunities. But enough of that. I need you to take this to General White immediately. Package. I think General White is back in Far Outpost now. It's a bit far, but you can handle it. I really hope it's Anthrax, because that guy deserves it. Oh, now we have to go all the way back to Far Outpost. This could take me a few minutes, sorry. You know, guys, I no longer fear hell. Because I've had to deal with General White. So, wait, you're not General White? Huh? General White? He left this morning. Wapow! That I, uh, he said he was gonna see Cola Bartender in Rogueport or something. Wait, he's not at home, so he's somewhere else. I can see this trouble going really well already! Here we go again! Be right back, I'll meet you in Rogueport. Ah, uh, several minutes later, I finally made it to Rogueport. It took much longer than I'd like because I was unable to avoid any battles at all. Well, maybe just one enemy, but that was it. General White? Yeah, I spoke to him just a second ago, actually. We're all buddies, he and I. I've known him since he was a little snapper that would explode over any little thing. Then again, I was the kind of guy that would bonk people for smiling funny. Still, he turned out to be a fine bob -omb, though he never cured that wanderlust. I'm pretty sure he said he was off to Glitzville next. Oh, Jesus Christ. I go back pretty far with the guy that runs the juice shop. There, too. So give him my best. Oh my god, there is not one person in the entire game that you can actually hate more than General White. I mean, even the toughest enemies and bosses are much more tolerable than this wandering bob -omb who makes you chase them pretty much everywhere. It's beyond retarded. Oh my god, I hate this guy so much! Why did Nintendo think this was a good idea? Oh, I'll meet you at the juice bar. Alright, here we are. Please be here, General Of course, he's not here. General White? He found a three white chocolate coconut mochas and bolted. He drops in every once in a while. Hey, and you know that lady in the black dress? I think General White has a thing for her. That's just my gut talking there. She's darn cute, after all. Guys come in more for her than for the juice, I think. Hey, and just between you and me, one of her admirers is Rockhawk. Oh, now that I think of it, General White seems going to Far Outpost soon. But first, he had to meet Gold Bob, or not meet him. Or something like that. And to think, Gold Bob gave us the parcel. 
General White could have gotten the parcel right there. If the parcel was not given to me. Well, hopefully they have a very long visit, so I have to go back to Pashi Heights. <sighs> Give me another couple more minutes. And probably a prescription for a lot of heavy-duty drugs once this is done. Okay, I'm gonna go see Go- Where is General White? Ah, Gonzalez! General White was just here a moment ago. But you had the thing I wanted to give him! What a rotten bit of luck. Yeah, you think? He said he was headed back to Far Outpost. That General White does a fine but bomb, but he does tend to wander. And once he's asleep, it's near impossible to wake him up, don't you know? I told him to stay out and awake, so get over the Far Outpost. Sorry about that. The far outpost we go! You know, if it were up to me, I would trade this ultra hammer for an axe right now. General White said he would sleep when he returned. Pow! And he still sleeps! Wakow! Uh, trust me, you don't want to see this. Oh my god, we gotta wake him up again! It's bad enough we had to do this once! But twice! You had to do this twice! If you wanted to do the troubles, you had to do this twice! I, 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 can't, I can't believe it! Something like this exists! This is more agonizing than doing the Pit of 100 Charles with no badges except double pain! Oh yeah, and you couldn't use action commands either! <laughs> You! What? Hello, Mario. Do you need something? Please kill him. What? What? A delivery? From Gold Bob? You came all that way to bring it to me? Well, thank you for that. I'll take it off your hands. Here! Ah, yes, well delivered. So you go fetch your reward, I assume? Say hello to Gold Bob when you see him. Well then, perhaps I'll go check on my cannon. I really hope it eats you alive. Technically, we're not even finished with trouble either. There's still one more step to do. Claim our reward from Gold Bob! That means we gotta go back to Pashi Heights! Go through all these enemies again, which I'm likely gonna run into! Be right back again! Alright, we made it to Pashi Heights. I actually decided to run away from some of the battles I was having. God, this is the worst trouble I've ever had to do! Did you find General White? I see. And he received it? Good. Thanks, Gonzales. I better get a good reward for this. Here is a reward. 64 coins?! I got 64 coins for all of this! Oh my... I'm... I'm gonna stop. I'm just gonna stop video here. Next part, I'll I'll meet you at the second half of the Pit of 100 Trials. Oh God, help me. See ya.